Excuse me? Cliff? Judy? <laughs> oh, wow. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. You're right on time. That is, um... Would you like to have a seat? Thank you. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Oh, no thanks. Tea? No, I, I can't stay very long. Oh. Why do you think the Lord has brought us together? Well, uh, we both accepted Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. And? That's not enough. You know, in other Christian stuff. This is a, this is a really good book. <laughs> do you have a favorite passage? All of them. Yeah, I mean, I don't like to play favorites when it comes to passages, but um, I'm a huge fan of the Ten Commandments. Ah. But the Ten Commandments are good. Yeah, you, do you think ten is enough? I mean, it couldn't hurt to have like one more thou shalt not, right? <laughs> do you have a favorite commandment? Yes, I do. The fifth one. Thou shalt not kill. That, that's number five? Yes. Yeah. yeah. In fact, you know, I'm going on 43 straight years of not killing. Wow. Do you have a church? I'm in between churches right now. Would you would you like to come to my church? Yeah, I, I think that's great. I would love to. Great. Well, we have a potluck on Wednesdays, and I'm making my tuna casserole. Oh, you didn't say tuna casserole. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm there. Yeah. You, you're going to love my pastor. You know, normally I don't do a potluck until like the fourth or fifth date, but oh. um, I am not going to say no. To tuna casserole. Excellent. You know, I am gonna have that coffee after all. Really? Yeah. I'll be right back. Awesome. I'll be here. I'll be reading. Cliffy! David. Are you reading the Bible? You're reading the Bible? I knew you did some weird science fiction stuff, but didn't you join a cult now? I'm sorry, man. You got cancer? <laughs> now, I'm here with somebody. Who? Pat Robertson? Taha. <laughs> Look, you, you, you gotta go. She's gonna be back here any minute. She? Don't sit <laughs> down. So you're meeting a woman. You're reading a Bible. A, a Bible that you bought yesterday. So? You want her to think you're religious because you met her online in a Christian chat room. I'm right, huh? I'm right. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, okay, Columbo, you got me. I should have my own show. David Bennett, CSI. What's the chat room? HotChristianSluts.com? No, I, I'm, I'm just trying to meet a normal girl. What's wrong with a normal online dating site, then? Normal? You know, the last girl I met on a normal dating service wanted to have rough anal. What's wrong with that? She didn't want to receive. Ooh. Yeah. You're smarter than you look, I gotta tell you, Cliff. Yeah? Yeah. Jesus is your pimp. Jesus is my pimp. Admit it! Admit it! Come on, Jesus is your pimp. Livy. Okay, Jesus is my pimp. <laughs> Excuse me. I hope I'm not interrupting something. Oh, Judy, hey, no, David was just leaving and uh, we were just talking. Yes, I heard. Hot Christian anal, that's disgusting. No, that's not what we said. Oh, and, really? I mean, for the record, it was rough anal. Oh! And hot Christian sluts. Oh, you're a jerk. It was just a conversation. You need, you need. Forgiveness? Help, you need help. So help me. There's a place for people like you, Cliff. It's called hell. What, uh, tuna casserole, Wednesday. Hot luck. You're late. She's a crazy girl from 
some crazy girl world and she'll make you crazy just give her a whirl tell her she's pretty tell her she's great talk about your feelings and stay up late First meet her, she seems kinda cool, but that's before she goes crazy on you.